Hello Internet, it's Mike White with 143. So today I'm going to talk about doing line work, um, and this would be what I would call hand-drawn line work in Photoshop. Uh, you can also use Photopea, so everything that I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you, you can definitely do in Photopea. And I'm going to take a different approach with this tutorial, you know, instead of um, showing you each step, which, you know, this took me probably about an hour. Uh, I don't want to, you know, bore you guys for an hour. And also when I do this kind of work, I really get in a zone and it's really hard to like do it live because there's lots of mistakes and backing up. So I figured I'd just show you kind of the end result here at the beginning and then talk about how I achieved it. Okay, I think that's the, the approach that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna turn off this other reference photo and turn on my original reference right here and I'm gonna turn off the black background and we're gonna turn off the stroke and turn off the color overlay and get back to the original line work that I just drew. So I wanna talk about the different parts of this and you know just explain to you how to approach something like this. So. You know, I found this photo on Adobe Stock. I haven't even paid for it. I am a subscriber, but I decided not to even license it. I just grabbed the reference uh, to use as a trace. And you can see that, you know, I've got this, this line work just drawn over it. I really started, you know, right in here. I mean, you can start anywhere on the document, but I just decided to start like right in here and just start drawing his hairline. And you know, what you're seeing is the result of multiple strokes. So, you know, I'm using the brush tool, okay? So you grab your brush tool and I've just got a hard brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw over top. So I just start a new layer up here. And you know, you can adjust the size of your strokes um, by using the keyboard and just change and vary. If you have a tablet, uh, you can do this even better, but I'm using a mouse. And I've also got smoothing on. So smoothing is set to 10%. So that's that's a, a trick to get a really like fine line, you know, kind of if you have a shaky hand, if you have a little smoothing on, it still makes it look nice uh, and clean. And then one thing I always like to tell everybody is I turn my mouse speed down. You've probably heard me say that a thousand times if you watch my tutorials. But I turn my mouse speed down, which allows me to, you know, it makes me have to really go all the way across the screen with my mouse but it lets me, um, you know, kind of have more control than you would otherwise. So, you know, how I, you see this like varying thickness in here and I just use one brush size to do that. And the way I accomplished that is I just drew over the same lines multiple times. So, you know, you can just follow the same line uh, several times and you're gonna get that kind of varied thickness. Um, and if you have a tablet, you don't even have to worry about that. And so, you know, I went too far there, so I'm just gonna take my eraser tool and just, you know, remove that part and just, you know, kind of draw in reverse and carve out what I wanna keep. So, you know, that's literally the approach. I mean, it's there's no fancy tricks here. It's just drawing and drawing with a reference, so you're just drawing right over top of things. So I wanna talk about this without the, the layer on. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that layer. Let's just turn off this line work. Deciding what you want to draw is, is the most important part. So, you know, for instance, um, when you're doing line work, you're not only trying to define the, sh the form, but you're also trying to like give hints of color uh, or at least lightness and darkness. And then you're also, you know, you're trying to draw the shadow, you're trying to draw the light. It's, it's really confusing what to draw and you don't want to get overly detailed. You know, you don't want to get in here and get every little fine line because that's just going to look like a mess. You're trying to refine it. You're trying to make it simplified. And, you know, I'm not a master at this. Uh, I have been doing it for many years, you know, so you can see where, you know, I just decided, okay, well, I'm just going to draw the outline of his uh, eyebrow here. And then I'm just going to stroke in a little bit of like color, you know, a little darkness in there, you know, same with his beard. I mean, I've just outlined it. So I got the shape. And then I just kind of filled it in and where he's got like a little more stubble and I wanted to find his jawline, you know, I just, I just put more strokes along there to try to help, you know, show that off. Okay. Um, you know, you have to really pay attention to the face. Uh, you really want to get the lines around the face 
you know, things like ears, gosh, they can look so weird uh, if, you, if you don't do them well. You know, just take your time in those areas. You know, I, I go after like the heads. Um, I focus on the hands and, and I focus on the faces and especially like the shape of the head um, and the little details. And, you know, I mean, this is no masterpiece. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here, uh, you know, aghast at my incredible artwork. But, uh, you know, it is, it is uh, passable. And I think a client would be happy with this if you took this um, and, and did it. You want to focus on the details that would matter uh, to your client or to, to make your finished work uh, look good. You know, so you've, you know, there's, there's parts that I just realized I didn't even finish. Like I didn't even finish this down here, uh, you know, drawing this like fold of this, of this cloth. But, you know, what you choose to draw and what you choose to not draw, that's the artwork. That's where the art comes in. You know, you want to give it the impression. You don't want it to be too empty. And I'll just criticize myself for a second. You know, I've, I've varied my thickness all through here. I mean, you can see, you know, I, me changing the size of the lines, you know, when I've got something that I, that's thicker, like an outline uh, or this little bracelet, you know, I'm getting thick, you know, and then sometimes even mid stroke, you know, I'll stop. Sometimes even mid stroke, you know, I'll stop and just change my line thickness to kind of, you know, indicate a transition area, okay? But I'll criticize myself in saying that, you know, I always draw too skinny. You know, just go ahead and make it bold. If, if I was talking to myself, uh, you know, in the past, I'd say, you know, thicken up your lines, Mike. Like, what's your problem? You know, you can go uh, and still get in this detail, but still, you know, go thicker. I mean, that line could probably be twice as thick. Everything could be thicker. But I solve that uh, in the end when I'm done, you know, and I'm done making these decisions and just tracing over these little details. Um, you know, I'll come in and, and do what you saw. So anyway, I put, I put the um, I put the black back on here. I, I, I change it to a white color overlay. I'm doing that also because I'm planning on using this as the video cover. And so I want you to see, you know, the white against the black. That's the black default background that I have on all my, my title screens. And then I actually added this stroke. And that stroke is killing a lot of my detail. And you can see that right here. I mean, detail's being lost, but it's also, you know, thickening everything up. So that's why I'm criticizing myself. I could have just drawn thicker to begin with, and I probably would have kept more detail and not had to just go with this big, bold stroke. But I really do think that, you know, for the end result, especially viewed from a distance, um, that strokes adding a lot and, and you know that's a matter of opinion I mean as I just did this I stroked it out you know it looks looks pretty nice without the stroke so you know that's that's where you just kind of get in here and decide um, you know what you want to do so uh, I'll show you some different things you can do to play with your thickness of course this is just one pixel of stroke and if I take it down I mean that was two pixels excuse me this is now one you can also do a center on the stroke instead of the outside and that's going to give you a totally different effect you know it's going to choose the edge of the line so now i've got some of that detail back in his eyebrow um, whereas i think on the outside i'm going to lose most of that just to give you an example of, of what you're going to get with the different results so i know this hasn't been much of a drawing tutorial more of a technique more of a look back at how i did this uh, but this is how you do you know hand drawn mouse drawn if whatever you want to call it uh, line work in Photoshop uh, and the last thing I'm going to tell you is you can also make decisions like this so let me show you um, let's turn all this stroke back off and I'm going to turn off the reference so you can make a decision when you're done that you want to block in certain areas to be more black you know so be more you know darker and so I'll give you a great example of that. Like, let's just select this area in here. And then we're just going to expand it slightly. So I'm going to do select, modify, expand. I'm expanding by one pixel, okay? And then I'm going to draw below it. So I'm going to do a new layer below. And I'm just going to dump black all in that area. And then I can see where I need to dump a little more and a little more. Let's just do that like that. And then you know, what I can do is I can take all of this uh, line work on top and convert it to white. So in other words, let me just select this. 
I can just select this part, and I'm actually just going to do select, modify, and contract slightly. We'll contract it by one. Then I'm going to turn that off. Let's see, then I'll turn that top layer off. Okay, and I'm just going to fill in. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. So what I would do is, is just, you know, get this effect of instead... Let me just get this right, guys. Hang on just a second. I'm going to select all of this. And I'm going to select, modify, expand. Let me just give you a real example. Let's expand by two. And then I'm going to come back to this layer that's got the actual artwork on it. So that's this layer. Yeah, there we go. Select, reselect. And then I'm just going to do this. I'm going to hold Alt. Nope, opposite. I'm just going to click this layer mask. And so now, instead of... See, see how I've reversed the detail. So you can draw the detail, and then you can come back and reverse the detail and get a totally different um, look. So let's just do blending options, color overlay. So you see exactly what I mean there. You can you can get a completely different look um, just with the same detail, and then you can go back on your artwork and, and you could decide. Okay, well, it's, he's wearing a dark shirt. Let's line that out this way. So, um, yeah, again, not my typical tutorial style. I like to show you how I do things, uh, but it, this is just one of those things that's hard for me to impart. I'm not that good at it, so it takes me a little bit of time, and. Um, I'm probably going to do another tutorial at some point to show you how to do this in Inkscape, which I will actually be better at because it's less artistic. It's a little more just follow the lines. So, um, hey, I hope you learned something. And I just want to thank everybody. We're just blowing up at 143 Vinyl with the DTF transfers. I hope my videos are helping you and uh, I hope they're helping the company. So uh, either way, have a great day and thanks for watching. Goodbye.